Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters, and to all of my monarchs. Uh, this is Massey, I bring you another video. Um, I want to show yeah, a little something. Okay. Um, we have a problem in the Hebrew community, in the black community, whatever you want to call it, where if we see a black person wearing blonde hair or something like that, that we call them, you know, uh, 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 self-hating. We're not relatively, is that always the case? You know, um, I gotta say sometimes women just like, you know, putting on different color wigs and stuff like that. And, you know, um, and all the time they're wearing weave just because they, you know, don't like their hair. It's not the case. You know, sometimes they just like variety. You want to switch it up. That's why they put on, have super long hair, but wearing short wigs and you know what I mean? But, uh, anyway, but this right here, this is a self-hating woman right here. Uh, uh, uh so I'm just showing y'all this so you, we can know the difference. You know, just stop calling all our sisters, you know, self-hating because you see them wearing a, a certain attire. Sometimes they just want to, you know, do them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Peep this. Glimpse into the mindset of Tanisha. Almost three years ago, I decided to move from Chicago to Iowa to escape the black community. I decided the lifestyle of the white community in Iowa was the way I wanted to live. I don't care for the black race. I think the white race is more educated, civilized, and sophisticated. She obviously I don't know her history. I want the white race to embrace me and treat me as if I was white. Because I think and I act white. My family thinks that I should be ashamed of myself because I think and I act white. But I'm not going to be who they want me to be. Because when I'm with them, I have to act ghetto, and I hate it. My husband and my cousins think that I have a white sugar daddy, but I don't. He's just a good friend that takes care of me. I think white men are better providers, and if I was with one, I would have a different life. Wow. 